So far in this series, we've explored what makes tides and currents and how you can spot them. In this episode, I'm going to explore the huge effect the moon has on tides as it orbits the Earth once a month. So to start at the very beginning, about four and a half billion years ago, an astronomical body the size of Mars smashed into the Earth. This is called the Big Splash Theory. And that impact knocked the Earth 23 and a half degrees. And that's what gives us the seasons. And all the debris from the impact, it was all spinning around, there's a ring around the Earth, and it all joined together to create the moon. So this is, we've got the moon. So that single impact, gave us seasons and it gave us the moon that gives us the daily tides. The sun and the moon both exert a gravitational pull on our oceans that give us tides, but because the moon is so much closer, its effect is 2.2 times stronger. And the result is that the tide times are directly connected to the moon phase. So on the full moon, the tide times will always be within half an hour of these times. So there's a tide wave traveling down the North Sea and on the full moon, It'll always pass Wick around midnight, get down to low Newcastle, four in the morning, lower stuff 10.30, and then Dover around midday. And then every day, it's 50 minutes later, and then over a month, that adds 24 hours, which means by the time of the next full moon, we're back to the same time of high tides. So the moon gives you your daily tides, but then throughout a month, as the moon orbits around the Earth, the relative positions of the moon and the sun in relation to each other give you powerful and weaker tides called springs and neaps. So when the moon is here, it's in line with the sun and the Earth. So the combined pulls from the sun and the moon give you your stronger tides called spring tides, and you get higher highs, lower lows, and faster tidal currents. But in a week's time, the moon orbits around to this position here, this is the first half moon phase, and the moon is now at 90 degrees to the sun and the earth. So their pulls are sort of offset against each other and you get weaker tides called neap tides. And with neap tides, you get lower high tides, higher low tides and slower currents. But another week later, the moon is back in line with the sun and earth again. This is the full moon and we've got spring tides again. And another week later, it's the third quarter moon phase second half and it's 90 degrees again and you've got your neap tides and then back to the new moon and your spring tides so as the moon orbits around the, the earth you're getting the tides are getting weaker to that point and then they're getting stronger to your spring tides and then they're getting weaker again to your neap tides and then stronger again so to understand these moon phases and in turn understand if it's spring or neap tides the best way to visualise it is by seeing what part of the moon you can actually see. So to start off with, the, the face of the moon that you're looking at is just the sunlight reflected off it. So when it's the new moon, when the moon is here, this is the sun, this side is being lit up. So when you look from the earth, it appears dark in the sky. So that's when you have your spring tides. And then a week later, the moon is orbited around and when you look at it from the northern hemisphere, the right half is lit up. And that's when you've got your neap tides, because the, the moon is at 90 degrees to the sun and earth. And then another week later, the whole face of the moon is lit up and it's the full moon and you've got spring tides again. And then another week after that, the left hand side is lit up when you're in the, in the northern hemisphere and it's neap tides. And then one more week, and we're back to the new moon and it's completely dark in the sky again. So by looking at the moon in the sky 
you get a really good idea of what the tides are going to be doing. So when there's only a half moon, it means you you can have neap tides, and that means you've got weaker tides. So that's a good time to go um, scuba diving shipwrecks because it means the currents are going to be weaker, slack water lasts longer. So you've got longer in the wreck while it's still safe. Whereas spring tides, when you've got a full moon or a new moon, that means the tides are going to be more powerful. The currents are faster, slack water is much shorter, and that's a more dangerous time to go into a wreck or something like that. But when there are spring tides, it means you get things like tidal bores and whirlpools and rapids because there's more water flowing around the coast and that heightens a lot of the effects of what you're going to see. So depending on what your activities are, spring tides are better for some and neap tides are better for others. And you can tell it all just by looking at what part of the moon is lit up from the sun.